everybody welcome back or welcome to my youtube channel my name is celeste kohal and i make fitness and lifestyle content on instagram and tiktok and today i am making a how to elevate your at home coffee game with a couple recipes and different skills <laughs> to really just be able to make good tasting cafe coffees at your home so Okay, so this first drink is a vanilla shaken espresso. You're gonna need a drink mixer for this one because it is shaken. And shaking your ingredients really just incorporates it so well. I highly recommend doing this, even if you're just making like a regular coffee, which is basically what this one is. It's a vanilla espresso. Just mixing it in a shaker, game changer, so good. So first, and this is gonna be for all of them, we're gonna make a double shot of espresso. So it might be different with whatever machine that you're doing, but a double shot, or if you prefer a single shot, then just do it that way. Already, now that that has been brewed, um, we're gonna start assembling the drink. So you're going to take vanilla. Um, I'm using the Tarani sugar-free vanilla. And you're gonna do two and a half pumps. You can make it just two if you don't want it as flavory. But you know, I just like it personally. So you can tailor it to how you prefer your coffee, but the steps in general, follow that. Put it into the little shot topper because it's just easier that way for me to mix the ingredients. Two and a half. Put that into the mixer. You're going to do your creamers and milk. I personally don't like to dilute my coffee with water, so I just do a little bit more, like a splash of milk to give it like more volume. You can do whatever you like. This oat creamer, because I'm lactose intolerant. Um, so I use this French vanilla oat creamer. Um, they also do eggnog, by the way, whenever it's the season. So I always make eggnog egg nog milk lattes. Next, these are kind of eyeball, but you can do it, just do it to preference. I just use based off of the glass. So I go up to about like a fourth. Um, just pour like how you would pour your own creamer when you're making your coffees. I pour milk into it after, but. So now that you have your creamer and vanilla, pour in your double shot. I just use coconut milk, because I really like coconut milk, and you'll see for my condensed milk drink, I use coconut condensed milk. Do it again. She's lactose intolerant. She can't, she can't be having regular milk, regular creamer, regular condensed milk. It'll get me and it'll get me really bad. So anyway, top it off with some milk just because I like drinking more coffee. And then that's kind of then how you can see, okay, that's really how much coffee that I have. You get it. And now that you have your drink, then you'll get some ice. Um, just kind of fill it into this because it's a cylinder, but you can just fill it however, but you're gonna need a good amount of ice, and don't worry, we're not gonna put that into the drink, or you can put a couple cubes into the drink when you're done with it, but just get a bunch of ice, because when you shake it, then it's going to just combine a lot better than if you're to shake it with nothing in it. So, add a lot of ice, it's also gonna make it super cold, and you, when you pour it, you'll see, you'll get this little froth at the top, if you've shaken it enough, so good, so good. So let me get some ice. All right, so now that I have my ice, I'm gonna gently put that all in there. Close off that top. Make sure it's really tight on there because I've had a lot of instances where I start to shake it and it just goes everywhere. So learn from me, make sure it's on, and then give it that little mix. I'm gonna do this off camera. Rule of thumb is if your top has, you see how it's like fro uh, frosty? Then it's, it's probably good. You're probably shaking it enough. If you over shake it, then the ice is gonna melt into the drink. And then you're gonna have a watered down coffee. 
no one likes that. So just wait till it's uh, frosty at the top and then you're good to go. We're gonna take this little glass and you see, you see how it has that, that's what you want. Pop the top, be careful. Pop the top, Little the little filter holes, just. There you go. And then you can add, I again, I do measurements that I know will fit the cup, so I'm not gonna add any ice. Drink it right away because it's. Guys, I'm not acting this way over coffee right now. <laughs> if you just drink it right away because you'll taste the difference, like automatically, from like how you normally would make your coffees, you know? Mm. Vanilla shaken espresso. Great. Let's move on to something with a little more spice. Okay, so for this next drink, it is a condensed milk espresso drink. I don't really have a name for it because it's kind of just a espresso with, instead of creamer, it's condensed milk. So um, you'll find that a lot in um, like certain Asian coffees, like Vietnamese coffee is literally espresso and condensed milk. Spanish coffees, a lot of different places do condensed milk. And it's very good, so I see why. And I'll be using, like I said earlier, coconut condensed milk, because I can't have dairy. So, let me just prep that. I've already uh, made my espresso shot. Um, haven't poured it yet, because we're gonna pour it over the condensed milk, because that's going to um, incorporate it a lot better. So, let me open that. So, I just kind of coat the bottom of my glass with condensed milk. This jar, because again, you will be putting the espresso shot on top of this. So you can kind of just do it to taste, but I like to do uh, like three tablespoons of condensed milk. Now let's put that espresso shot into it. Okay, so I do just want to preface that condensed milk coffee will not be for everyone because it can be very high in sugar. Um, however, it is just something if you want a more rich, decadent coffee, very much recommend this one. I just got done stirring it here. You just want to like make sure, yes, I was scraping the bottom, but guys, you're gonna make, want to make sure that that condensed milk is incorporated. So yeah, I added a shot of hazelnut, uh, sugar-free Tirani. The Papa Hazelnut, I'm gonna do a dash of cinnamon and a dash of nutmeg. Hopefully that's not too bright. A dash of cinnamon and a dash of nutmeg. Again, make sure you're doing this all when it's hot because um, then the espresso can break down all the little particles. And a dash of nutmeg. <sighs> nutmeg smells so good. Actually, I'm gonna put a little more in there. If you want more volume, I would say put ice and then a splash of water and then pour your coffee over. So, let's go. so now that I have my little ice cup, um, let's just pour over that condensed milk and cinnamon and nutmeg and hazelnut. Do you just see how much thicker that is, guys? Wow. See, this one to me is just really good if you want that rich. Like even the color you can see is different. Oh my goodness, guys. Do you want to taste? <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys have to try it. Please, and add the spices. I personally love them. I would just be like, you can do it if you want, but like, I think it tastes really good with them. Mm, so good. Let's move on to the next coffee. Okay, I already got the espresso started on this next drink because it's just gonna be a regular coffee, but we're gonna add something really fun to it. Matcha. Uh, I'm just gonna make matcha milk or matcha milk foam, whatever you wanna call it. Um, and then that will be like the creamer. Uh, I'll still probably add like a dash of creamer, but our milk addition will be matcha flavored. Again, another hit or miss depending on how you like your drinks. But these are all just, again, fun additions. 
honestly, that first vanilla shaken espresso drink, you can make caramel shaken espresso, cinnamon shaken espresso. It's just the way you do it makes it that much better. But these next ones are just like fun recipes um, if you wanted something other than just a espresso latte. So let's go. We're gonna start off with our matcha. Um, I got some honey just to taste. I like to add a little bit of honey. This is really good honey, by the way, guys. Um, and then you'll need your matcha whisk if you're making your own matcha, um, which is the best way to do it. Oh, and you'll need a little sifter for your matcha. So let's just put that on top. And then let's get our matcha situated. Oh, look at this. Look, look, look. Oh how magical that is that green is amazing guys so. no we're gonna just follow that in there <laughs> uh, it hit a packet that's in here and just exploded that's so bad okay um well let's just do i'm gonna clean my hand off i'm so sorry guys just get our matcha sifted so now we're gonna add some hot water, um, mix that around, and then we're gonna add more um, until we have a good sized matcha. Okay, now that you have some hot water, so that's probably incorporated as of now. Let's turn that off. And then continue our mixing. I'm going to mix it off camera because this is kind of hard to show you. Add the honey now because it's steaming hot, so this honey is going to incorporate very well. Push that to the side and stir this up. That is a good matcha. Ooh, look at that color. Alrighty, and now we are going to add the milk and or creamer. You can do milk or creamer. Again, I'm using just coconut milk. Add that in. So now we have milk matcha. And let's froth it up. And so I'm gonna use my Urban Mind mixer to froth it up. Leah, yeah, you're just frothing up your milk. It smells delicious, by the way. Look at that. Alrighty, so um, we have our base, which is just a double shot of espresso, one shot of vanilla, and then a dash of the creamer and some ice. So it's gonna be like about a little over halfway of a glass. Super frothed up matcha. By the way, this is basically just a matcha latte. Um, but it would be the same way to just make it. You don't have to do water, you could have just done hot milk, and that would have frothed it up on top. Pour that in. Matcha espresso. I love it. Again, look at the gradient. Oh my gosh, the espresso to matcha is so good. Mm. Me personally, I love it. Is that a lot of caffeine? Yes. But, that's perfectly fine to me, so. Okay. And then the fourth and final drink. The last coffee recipe of the day. I have like all of my coffees lined up over there. This is gonna be a chai espresso latte. This is the chai that I'll be using. You can brew your own, of course, but you know, at home convenience, I just get the Trader Joe's spiced chai bottled. They also have this exact one in like tea bags and stuff like that if you wanted to brew your own. But like I said, I just have this one to keep it in my fridge. Super good. I love regular chai lattes, but again, in the morning, I need a extra, extra pick me up and I put espresso with everything. Anyway, let's make the chai espresso latte. I make it in the mixer um, because again, I think shaking things incorporates them so much better. So, I'm gonna be putting it in this little glass. Look at how gorgeous. Just brewed up my espresso. And so now let's just incorporate. So I like to add, you can add honey or vanilla because I do think that um, just a little dash of either one will do good. I'm doing vanilla just because I didn't put honey into that and that would be the only way for it to really incorporate well. So just a single shot of vanilla. Pour that in there. And then let's get our chai. Now you can do this to taste, but I normally do about, again, I like to eyeball all of this 
because I know which glass I'm putting it into. But let's just see here. Probably like that much of the chai. So now we're gonna do milk and creamer. Same thing to your taste preference or to your glass. Let's just pour some milk in here. I just do a dash of milk because I do primarily creamer, but like I said, um, I hate using water for these things because I hate diluting it. You need to stay within the flavor profiles. Um, I think for me, primarily, this stuff normally ends up around this point. This is also a bigger glass, so um, I'm adding more, which is why I'm still adding the same amount of basically the vanilla shaken espresso, just addition of chai. Let's add our double shot. Alrighty, and then you know the drill. Add some ice, shake it up, and let's pour. Alrighty, we have some ice in our glass and shaken up the chai espresso. Let's mix. Let's pour. Let's, not, let's mix. I already mixed. <laughs> let's pour. Let's get that top off. Nice. Oh, I love the smell of chai. I thought I spilled that horrifically for some reason. Splendid! That smells so good! <laughs> this one in particular, again, if you like chai matchas and different tasting coffees, super, super up your alley. I think everyone should try them. Um, this one in particular, let me just give a rundown of ratings. Vanilla shake and espresso. Simple, just like your regular lattes that you probably already make by yourself. Shake it up, those flavors, the flavor profile just completely goes up. Yes, I have been drinking all of these. Gonna have a caffeine overload. <laughs> um, the condensed milk latte. If you make this, please, please, please add that nutmeg and that cinnamon. Just some dashes is all you need. It's probably my favorite. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Amazing. Matcha. Matcha and espresso. Don't mock it by the color. It's it's just matcha. It's green and brown. What do you think the color is gonna be? So this one is a little more niche. I will say it's not for everybody. Um, but again, if you like matcha and you like espresso. I would say try it before you knock it, but um, I think it's very good. Me personally, I probably could have used a little bit less water, but regardless, because it is a little watered down in my opinion. But again, that's just my opinion. So maybe you would like it this way rather than just making it matcha milk chai. I love a chai tea. And again, like I said, you can add a splash of vanilla or honey. I did vanilla to this one, but their own. I can't really rank them that much. I think like I, it's hard to rank them because it's also based off of like what you're feeling. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed. And if you do make any of those drinks, please leave a comment down below. Which one was your favorite? Um, I would really like to know because I drink these all the time. I make coffee every single morning and it's one of these four. So <laughs> I'd really love to hear back from y'all. If you do try them, um, please let me know. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'm gonna be filming a leg day soon, yay. Um, I know a lot of y'all want that. So I'll be doing that. More Tron hauls, all of it, coming soon. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.